Welcome back. It's time for On the Radar, where we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with Patrick Horan. He's principal at Agileth Capital. Patrick, to talk about uh, Canada versus the U.S. in terms of the stock market. Uh, 2022 was a year where the S&P TSX Composite, our, our benchmark, uh, significantly outperformed the major indices, including the S&P 500 south of the border. And you think that type of outperformance is set to continue? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, and I, I think, uh, pretty sure if you go back to the tapes a year ago, uh, that's exactly what I was talking about. Um, but uh, yeah, we think we think this is a trend uh, change, a secular trend change, uh, and we think it uh, lasts for at least five years. Um, the uh, the performance of the TSX has uh, oddly uh, dramatically underperformed the U.S. Uh, the U.S. has actually been by far uh, the out outstanding index over the past 10 years. And, um, uh, and, and we, think, we think it's been uh, overdone uh, and from uh, a secular standpoint. So uh, uh, the, uh, the, their dramatic performance has led to massive valuation change or valuation premium uh, to the U.S., uh, whereas the, uh, the TSX has uh, has been reasonably valued, and uh, and uh, the even though it was a better performer, the TSX was a better performer last year than than the uh, than the U.S. markets. Uh, it still is um, it still is undervalued and had a neg slightly negative return. So um, we believe that uh, that the uh, the TXX TSX could uh, outperform its its historical average of about six percent returns. By about three or four percent over the next couple of years, and uh, and uh, conversely, we think the uh, the U.S. markets will uh, be more subdued. Uh, they typically perform about one to two percent better than uh, uh, global markets, and uh, we think that's that'll be the opposite. So there'll be about a four or five percent return for the for the um, uh, for the U.S. markets, and but the, the composite, as I was saying in the last segment is going to be very different. It's going to be from the cheaper stocks. And uh, that's, that's really the, uh, the weight uh, that, we're, that we're projecting anyway on the, on the U.S. market is that these, these big, big cap uh, behemoth expensive stocks are going to weigh, this, weigh the index down. In, Can in, the, in Canada, on the TSX, the, growth, the, uh, the outperformance has come over the past 12 months from the energy stocks in a big, big way, up 21% yeah. over the past 12 months. So albeit that's 12 months yeah. ending in, in January 2023, but that captures almost all of 2022. The, uh, the consumer staples, uh, the, the grocery uh, stocks would be big players there, and the materials. Do you expect those segments to outperform again in 2023. Yeah, I, I think I think I can see the uh, the materials, uh, energy certainly. Uh, I, I I actually believe the financials will uh, actually come around and and actually be uh, also leading. Um, I think I'm skeptical of the uh, the staples, uh, the grocers. Uh, we think they their the, their best days are behind them right now. Uh, we think that the uh, that that they've had. Uh, a, a very good ride with inflation. Uh, they've been considered defensive. Uh, to us, they look very expensive, um, and um, and we think uh, we think they're they've been held in portfolios for a very long time, and they've actually benefited from the uh, lower interest rates, which we think is is going to be persistently high now. Uh, it's it, there there will be you know there'll be some ranges, but uh, I think we're finding a a bottom range with long-term interest rates right now. But uh, we think that that's going to be a future headwind for staples. We'd probably include, we'd also include telcos in there as well. So these, these companies trade at, at you, know, you know, valuations of 17 to 19 to even some, in some cases, 20 times earnings. Uh, that's a very full price for, uh, for any equity. Uh, and uh, I, we think it reflects a lot of fear of a recession in front of us, which, which, you know, if we get one, it's going to be very mild. Uh, we don't believe there's going to be one, but, uh, but so I think I think that's starting to come out right now. So we'd be cautious on the staples, but the uh, certainly energy, uh, uh, your resources, uh, your your industrials. Uh, you know, Canada Canada is a manufacturing arm to the rest of the world, and we do supply a lot. So 
when the world gets going, you know, Canada wakes up and, and goes to work. And that's what we're seeing right now.